Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Venture26 and this time we have your lap time challenge at Willow Springs International Raceway, Streets of Willow Springs, in the reverse layout. And we have been challenged to get round this tight circuit in the Greedy Fugo Z on sports soft tyres. And I'd just like to credit RAJP7714 for this absolutely amazing livery. It's absolutely gorgeous. He is one of our main livery designers at Race Asylum. Thank you very much, sir. To enter this particular time trial, we want to choose the option on the left-hand side where the cursor is sitting above. To qualify for gold for this challenge, you are going to need to be within 3% of the top time by Jetta Racing, which is an incredible time, by the way. So I feel as long as you are under a 1 minute 17 seconds lap, I think you'll be fine. Having a little look at the leaderboard, we are put ourselves in the top 50 for this one. You still have 12 days to run on this, so plenty of time to get your 2 million credits in the bank. Okay, starting the lap, going over the start finishing line. We are looking to break at the 100 meter board, and we're looking to drop down to second gear, turning in at the 50, take a wide line into the corner, and as we're coasting round, get onto third before you put down the power. We are looking to cut this corner as much as you can without getting a penalty. A little bit of throttle control here so the car doesn't slide out. Coming up to this next corner, try again to cut it as much as you can with a little bit of throttle control. We are looking to brake at the first cone on the left hand side. Stay in third gear, come off the power, gently on the power, try and cut this as much as you can with full power as you straighten up your wheels. Okay, try and navigate this little section here, so full, full power. Coming up to our next turn, we are looking to brake at the 50 mark and turn in. A little bit of trail braking here, drop down to third before the corner. Use the banking if you can, drop them down to second. I tried, I tried to keep it as tight as I could here. As you're coming round, up to third again before you get on the power and power out of around the corner. Okay, you just want to lift on this next corner, manage the throttle as you feel the car gripping, full power. This next braking zone, we're looking to brake where the colour of the track changes. And we're going to turn in at the same time. We can cut this corner a little bit and we're going to brake almost straight away on this little line that goes across the track. Tiny bit of braking with the trail brake. And we want to manage the throttle, try and keep it tight around here as we've got another left coming up. We're looking to brake just before the start of the curbing on the right hand side. Turn it in, keep it in the third, coast it round, and as we're getting over that curb there, power out. Try and bring it round to the left, there's no real braking zone here. I'm using this little bit of grass on the right hand side. Drop it down to second, full braking, trail brake it round, then let it coast. As we're getting close to this apex, up to third gear. Manage the throttle and power out as early as you can. Coming up to our final turn, we are looking to brake just before this little line across the road goes, maybe five metres beforehand. Full brake, turn it in, trail brake, as we're coasting around, gently on the throttle, easily to slide the car out here. Up into third, just bringing it over the line to complete the lap. We've got a 116.035. It's a very best of luck on this one guys. I hope you can claim your 2 million credits. And I'm now going to let the replay run out in recorded footage. The ghost you're going to see is of a 15.9 that I used to help me get around the course. And then I'm going to let the replay run out in chase cam. So again I hope that helps you if you do use chase cam. Until next time guys, thanks a lot for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Take care now. Bye-bye.